Sutherland is a small town in the heart of the Karoo, well known as the coldest town in South Africa, and also for its incredible night skies, making it a haven for astronomy. It plays host to the South African Large Telescope and a battery of other powerful international radio telescopes. In this video clip, we take you on a real-time tour through the little town. Things have not always been easy for the residents of Sutherland and many of the homes are looking dilapidated, dusty and in some cases in serious need of maintenance. These stand in stark contrast to those homes that are B&Bs and self-catering establishments which are lovingly restored with attractive gardens. Another odd sight is seeing how many windmills there are, a stark reminder of just how dry this area is. The population of about 6,500 people are universally welcoming and friendly with a tacit understanding that tourism is the lifeblood of this little Karoo town. Holding center stage is the magnificent Greystone Dutch Reformed Church. At night the church is floodlit and makes for a beautiful spectacle. The church was built in 1899 and designed by Charles Freeman who also designed Cape Town Standard Bank Building and the Grafrenet Dutch Reformed Church. This is a cruciform straight gable church built with pointed rough stone. It has a square two-tiered tower with a plastered spire topped by a bracketed cornice. The design is classical and restrained with round-headed openings. Sutherland's pioneers quarried the area's distinctive grey stone for many of their buildings and architectural features such as walls, gateposts and reservoirs. Building methods varied from dry-packed stone to large dressed blocks set in pointed mortar. Together with the use of corrugated iron roofs, the stone walls gave the town a textural, earthy appeal while the later addition of verandas in timber or steel adds a delicate touch to the otherwise sturdy homes. The only petrol station in the town operates under certain hours only and the petrol pumps are situated on the pavement. It is also interesting to note that the streets are exceptionally wide. Early photos of the town show that most buildings were gabled in the Cape Dutch fashion. As the Victorians swept in, gables and thatch or clay roofs went out of fashion to be replaced by verandas and corrugated iron roofs. The remains of stone walls and other stone buildings are dotted around the town giving Sutherland its warm, rustic character. Many of the more notable houses are now used as guest houses serving the town's thriving tourism industry. There is the White House, originally a boarding house named Dachbreek, and later a garage and a museum. There's also the Sutherland Inn, which was the first pastoral residence and later became a doctor's office. The Primrose Cottage, built in 1905, is one of the only houses with an intact gable. The Cluster de Haute, now a restaurant, was once an overnight station for farmers staying in town for communion. The church houses a German-designed organ in its original casing. During the Anglo-Boer War, the church was occupied by troops and used as a fort. Some damage was caused to the interior and graffiti from the occupation is still visible in the clock tower, tangible evidence of the town's cultural heritage. Sutherland is approximately 155 years old and lies in the heart of the Rochefeld region, named in reference to the naturally occurring wild rye grass. Early scouts considered it to be promising for sheep farming which is why pioneer farmers ventured over awe-inspiring terrain across immense distances and forbidding mountain ranges to settle in this area. After the arrival of the first white pioneer travelers and farmers in the 1700s and early 1800s, the Dutch East India Company advanced capital for the establishment of farms across vast tracts of land. These farms are today written into the region's history with Dutch names like Oetkeek, de Gunsfontein, Klipfontein, de Knollefontein, de Jakkelsfontein, de List and Keilenberg. D. 
despite clashes with the resident Khoisan populations, the settlers remained. They were part of the Worcester district, whose religious well-being was overseen by one Dermany, Henry Sutherland. Over time, the Dutch Reformed Church bought the De List farm as a church farm to serve the population of the middle Rocheberg. 1855 turned out to be a big year for this new community. Until then, they had fallen under the legal jurisdiction of Fraserburg, but that year they erected a large stone building as a local jail, planned extensions for a hospital, and with that took their first steps towards self-governance. Two years later, in 1857, the Worcester Municipal Council instructed that the farm de List be divided into 50 properties which could be sold to private individuals to form a church town. The town was to be named after Dermany Henry Sutherland. In 1858, the cornerstone of the first church was laid and in November of the same year, the first properties were auctioned and the hamlet of Sutherland officially became a dot on the map of the world. Sutherland's mother tongue is Afrikaans, but most people speak English as a second or third language. What their English may lack in polish is amply compensated for in sincerity and warmth. Now let's take a simulated helicopter flight east out of town for 15 kilometers to the Sutherland Observatory and SALT telescope. The South African Large Telescope is the largest single optical telescope in the Southern Hemisphere and amongst the largest in the world. It has a hexagonal primary mirror array 11 meters across, comprising 91 individual 1.2 meter hexagonal mirrors. The telescope can detect light from faint or distant objects in the universe a billion times too faint to be seen with the unaided eye, as faint as a candle flame would appear at the distance of the moon. The project is funded by an international consortium. Tours to the observatory can be arranged through Sutherland Tourism. This video feature is brought to you courtesy of Mountain Passes South Africa.